something that no Swansea side has ever done in the past. They've gone to Anfield and they have won the game. Shane Long and he has done it! The Saints are marching into Wembley! The referee Craig Pawson blows time on a miserable, miserable week for Liverpool. They've lost for the third time this week at home to Championship Wolves. Liverpool's new year gave a fresh meaning to dry January. It's been a barren month with some very low moments. Yeah, maybe we spoke a little bit more with maybe a little bit more meetings. And uh, yeah, the coach was, yeah, the manager was always positive and uh, he wanted to help us. And in that period, of course, everybody has to stick together. Swansea was the one which for me was just a, a massive kick in the teeth. They, they played with no, no, there was there was no agency at all. First half, it was completely dead and clear. And you could see Swansea's confidence growing and growing when Liverpool weren't getting about them and weren't scaring them. Swansea was the one which really, really stung. It's been a painful month for the fans who produced the Anfield Rap radio show and podcast, but perhaps not entirely unexpected. The end of November, the top of the league, were flying. As we go into December and through December into January, I think you could start to see drop-offs in performances and, and, and the football wasn't quite as fluid. I think uh, injuries didn't help that. Some very key players missing, you know, Henderson, Coutinho, uh, Mane obviously going to the Af African Cup of Nations. All of those things together, I think, big knock for Liverpool and we saw that in, in how they've been playing. You couldn't see how we were going to necessarily turn it round. You know, you're looking at the bench and there wasn't kind of much there really, you know. And Apart from Manny coming back, which is obviously a big one for Liverpool, it was it was starting to get difficult watching us to see how we were going to turn it round, really. So I think that was I think it was fair enough. Were you dreading Chelsea? No, no, I'm, I'm actually more concerned about Hull. Even before the Chelsea game, in that I thought it's exactly the sort of game that we needed. It was 100 miles an hour. I still can't get over the pace of it. It's all the games this season that we played against the top six and loads of those games. The pace of them's been phenomenal. It was a very intense game, and it was a very. I think it was a lot of tempo in the game, and uh, yeah. There were times when the players looked to have drained all their energy. Was it one of those? Did it take every ounce of energy from you? Mm, I had a little bit more in my pocket, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had, uh, it was a very, very intense game. Was there enough in that Chelsea game to say that you'd stop the rot? I think so, yeah. I think there's lots of fight there, there's lots of spirit. I mean, you know, you talked about that, it's, it could be a crisis, people are describing it as so. I think you saw from the Liverpool players that they're not down hearted, that they can still get up for it, that they can fight. You could see with Jurgen Klopp's reaction to the penalty save what it meant to him not to lose that game. Uh, has he been feeling the pressure during this period? Yeah, pressure. You have always pressure in football. In every game, and every training session, and uh, if you play professional football, you have always pressure. And uh, I think everybody's feeling the pressure. This club has outstanding power. If we keep on ourselves. That's how it is. So because always the fight for something is always, it's always tight. It's always intense, especially at the end. If Liverpool get 85 points this season, we'll have had a great time, seen some great football, gone to some great games, loads to celebrate. And if the if the league, the league leaders get 92, you've just got to say, well, they're good. Well done, them. That's what you can do, really. That's the key, isn't it? That it isn't doom and gloom. I mean, you look at how Liverpool have performed since the Premier League began in terms of points and that sort of thing. I think there's only one season where, at this stage of the season, they're better off points-wise than they are right now. So that shows you that, in context, Liverpool have done really well. But there remains that need to witness a first title since John Barnes, Ian Rush and co back in 1990. We can remember it maybe on the telly when we were when we were young, but we haven't seen that as fans. So for people our age, we're just desperate for it because we're sick about our, our dads telling stories about their league titles we want our own. Last season when Leicester win the league, there's a lot of sides that aren't very good. It was going wrong at every club. Why couldn't that happen this season? When <laughs> good, you know what I mean? We're only ever a couple of results away from you know feeling downbeat, but then we're only ever one good one away from feeling like we're the best team in the world again you know it's a very emotional fan base it's, it's ones who we do get carried away and we don't really mind admitting it so I think we can go to Hull and win and Marnie plays well and we'll be telling everyone we're the best team in the world again <laughs> Watch Soccer Saturday every week from noon on Sky Sports News HQ